Le riunioni di Siges hanno avuto un modello, a mio avviso, straordinario. È stato un mix di advocacy a livello globale. Lo che abbiamo fatto è mettere per la prima volta la hepatitis e eh, la coinfezione in cima della mesa. Perché era una situazione della che non si parlava. Aveva unos trattamenti che non funzionavano. Había una cantidad de muertes que era inaceptable en aquella época que tantas personas que habían sobrevivido al VIH al final murieran por complicaciones hepáticas. This was a community-led initiative and it really was the push coming from several people and the key thing there is that if we wanted to address a problem all of the people that we needed to talk to were in that room. All the people were there together. The objective was originally was to include people living with hepatitis C co-infection in clinical trials, which were not accessible. Once that step was reached, the clear objective was access. I have to say, when those drugs were priced, it felt like the most hideous and disgusting betrayal. You know, it was a really bitter lesson. We were all really invested in the development of these drugs and excited and happy, and it was just infuriating. And it's just the beginning of the battle. We've got far more to go. It's time to start listening to communities more about what they want and what they need. To me, the most important outcome of the CHS meeting was that I have still around some friends that I knew, including myself, that would be dead if we uh, would not work and accelerate the process of clinical trial design, inclusion and access. <laughs>